The final countdown to Flight Test 6 is on, and this could be the most significant launch yet. In just days, we might see this engineering marvel take to the skies again. The pace of progress at Starbase is absolutely incredible, with critical preparations happening around the clock. The week kicked off with an impressive deluge test, a massive water suppression system designed to protect against the colossal forces of 33 Raptor engines at liftoff. This advanced system channels an enormous volume of water through the stainless steel flame deflector beneath the orbital launch mount. In an unexpected move, the final Block 1 Starship rolled out first, featuring fascinating modifications including strategic heat shield changes that could revolutionize future recovery operations. Its powerful booster partner followed shortly after, and now both vehicles stand united at the launch site, ready to make history. The excitement doesn't stop there. The Falcon 9 program continues breaking records, while construction on the second orbital launch site progresses at an astounding rate. We're witnessing space innovation at an unprecedented pace. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours, where we bring you the latest and most exciting developments in space exploration. The anticipation is building for what could be the most ambitious Starship test flight yet. Let's dive right in. The preparation for Flight 6 represents the culmination of countless engineering innovations, each more impressive than the last. At the heart of these preparations, the Deluge system stands as a testament to SpaceX's commitment to safety and efficiency. This isn't just any water suppression system. It's a precisely engineered network of water channels integrated into a massive stainless steel flame deflector. During recent tests, the system demonstrated unprecedented water pressure levels, suggesting significant upgrades from previous configurations. Why such attention to water suppression? The answer lies in the raw power of 33 Raptor engines firing simultaneously. At liftoff, these engines generate acoustic forces capable of causing structural damage to both the launch pad and the vehicle itself. The Deluge system's role is twofold. It suppresses these potentially destructive acoustic waves while simultaneously protecting the launch deck from extreme heat exposure. Engineering calculations suggest that redirecting this massive water flow toward launch operations, rather than reserving it for booster landing, maximizes the system's effectiveness. While Flight 6 preparations continue, a parallel narrative of innovation unfolds at Launch Site B. The construction team has achieved remarkable progress on the culvert system, a complex network designed to transport vital commodities to future vehicles. This engineering marvel is being constructed in carefully planned stages to maintain uninterrupted access to the active launch pad, a crucial consideration given the imminent flights of Ship 31 and Booster 13. The flame trench construction has surpassed all expectations, with recent aerial photography revealing the installation of primary propellant lines within the culvert system. The newly implemented drainage systems have proven remarkably effective, eliminating the previous challenges with water accumulation. This achievement marks a significant step forward in launch site reliability and operational efficiency. The second launch site's Mechazilla Tower represents a quantum leap in launch infrastructure technology. The recent removal of catch netting from lower levels signals the transition from construction to operational readiness. At the heart of this massive structure lies the newly installed Drawworks motor, an ADS 30Q powerhouse typically found in oil and gas drilling operations. This isn't just any industrial motor, it's a 74 metric ton beast capable of delivering 6,000 continuous horsepower, 4,500 kilowatts. The installation process showcased SpaceX's legendary efficiency, with the team managing to position and secure this enormous component almost immediately upon delivery. This rapid deployment speaks volumes about the team's growing expertise in handling complex infrastructure components. The rollout of Ship 31 marked a historic moment, the final Block 1, Starship to ever fly. This vehicle features fascinating modifications, including strategic heat shield tile removal. This isn't a compromise, but rather a calculated decision looking toward the future of Starship recovery operations. The missing tiles create clean zones where future tower arms can safely catch the vehicle without risking damage to the thermal protection system. A new detail caught everyone's attention. 
a playful banana decal holding a banana for scale. But beneath this touch of humor lies serious engineering consideration. The team has added an unprecedented configuration of seven tiles on one aft flaps interior, suggesting new insights into heat distribution during re-entry. This modification could provide crucial data about thermal protection requirements in previously unexplored areas of the vehicle. As Flight 6 preparations continue, the future takes shape with Ship 33, the first Block 2 Starship. In a surprising move, SpaceX opted to equip it with Raptor 2 engines instead of the anticipated Raptor 3s. The rapid delivery of six engines within 24 hours, including three vacuum variants, demonstrated the production line's impressive efficiency. Each engine tells its own story. Raptor 305, previously featured in the famous Cybertruck demonstration, returns to active duty. Raptor 398, which successfully completed a static fire on Ship 30 before being removed for undisclosed reasons, now finds new purpose on Ship 33. These engines arrive with pre-installed electric gimbaling control boxes, a first for the program that streamlines the installation process and potentially improves reliability. The Block 2 design introduces extended tanks capable of holding an additional 300 tons of propellant, a significant increase in capacity that creates new engineering challenges. The team must carefully balance this increased mass with available thrust, leading to a methodical testing approach that will likely start with minimal payloads before working up to full capacity. While Starship development continues at breakneck speed, the Falcon 9 program keeps shattering records. Booster 10 of 67 achieved an unprecedented milestone, becoming the first to successfully complete 23 landings. The Koreasat 6A mission showcased this achievement with crystal clear launch footage and a perfect return to landing zone one. The mission served multiple purposes beyond just setting records. Koreasat 6A will replace its aging predecessor while extending and enhancing communication capabilities across Asia, the Middle East, and Africa. The successful deployment demonstrated SpaceX's growing expertise in delivering satellites to precise geostationary transfer orbits. The Starlink constellation continues its rapid expansion with innovative deployment strategies. Recent launches have carried increased payloads of 24 satellites per mission, a significant improvement over previous configurations. This enhancement suggests potential mass reduction in individual satellites or improved packaging efficiency. The impact of these deployments extends far beyond technical achievements. Starlink's recent activation in Chad marks a crucial milestone in bringing reliable internet to underserved regions. The service addresses critical connectivity challenges that have plagued the country since early 2024, demonstrating the real-world impact of SpaceX's technology on daily lives. The production facilities maintain an impressive pace, with boosters 14, 15, and 16 in various stages of completion inside Mega Bay 1. Each component incorporates lessons learned from previous builds, reflecting an iterative approach to perfecting the manufacturing process. The construction of Booster 16's oxygen tank section reveals incremental improvements in welding techniques and structural design. Looking ahead, SpaceX's ambitious launch schedule calls for 26 additional Falcon 9 missions before year's end, a cadence of one launch every two days. This aggressive timeline pushes the boundaries of rapid reusability and launch processing capabilities. The company's launch team has consistently demonstrated their ability to maintain this unprecedented pace while ensuring mission success. The engineering teams continue to implement improvements across all systems. The pre-installed electric gimbaling control boxes on new Raptor engines streamline the installation process while potentially improving reliability. Mounting systems have been optimized for better load distribution and structural integrity, incorporating data from previous flights. Perhaps most intriguing are the modifications supporting future recovery operations. The strategic removal of heat shield tiles on Ship 31 represents a carefully calculated trade-off between thermal protection and catch capability. This decision reveals SpaceX's confidence in their ability to precisely control vehicle descent and positioning during recovery attempts. Furthermore, the addition of tiles to the aft flaps interior suggests new understanding of heat distribution during re-entry. This seemingly minor modification could provide crucial data 
about thermal protection requirements in previously unexplored areas of the vehicle. Each flight builds upon this knowledge base, informing design decisions for future iterations. While much attention focuses on the ships, booster development proceeds at an equally impressive pace. The A5 section of Booster 16 recently departed the Star Factory, representing the penultimate component of its oxygen tank section. This four-ring barrel brings the booster one step closer to completion, with only the thrust dome remaining to be integrated. The manufacturing process reveals continuing refinements in welding techniques and structural design. Each subsequent booster incorporates lessons learned from previous builds, resulting in increasingly robust and efficient vehicles. This iterative approach to improvement characterizes SpaceX's engineering philosophy. The comprehensive testing program continues to verify each system's performance. Recent deluge system tests demonstrated increased water pressure capabilities, while grid fin actuation tests on Booster 13 confirmed proper operation of all control surfaces. These tests represent just a fraction of the validation procedures required before flight clearance. The installation of flight termination systems remains one of the final steps before launch. This critical safety component ensures that ground controllers can maintain positive control of the vehicle throughout all phases of flight. The meticulous attention to safety systems highlights SpaceX's commitment to responsible spaceflight operations. With Starship's evolution from Block 1 to Block 2, and the incredible achievements in reusability marked by Booster 1067's historic 23rd landing, we're witnessing space history in the making. Each advancement, whether it's the new Mechazilla Tower's powerful Drawworks motor or Starlink's expansion into CHAD, brings us closer to making space access more reliable and affordable. This is truly an exciting time in space exploration, and we're here to bring you every development as it happens. If you want to stay updated on all things SpaceX and space innovation, make sure to subscribe to Elon Musk 24 Hours. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this deep dive into SpaceX's latest achievements, and share your thoughts about Flight Test 6 in the comments below. Thank you for joining us on this journey through space technology. Don't forget to share this video with fellow space enthusiasts, and we'll see you in the next update as we continue tracking humanity's greatest space adventures. Breaking news from SpaceX. In a stunning development that's sending shockwaves through the aerospace industry, Gwynne Shotwell has just achieved what many thought impossible with Starship Flight 6. While most know Elon Musk as the face of SpaceX, it's his trusted president and COO who's been quietly revolutionizing the company's relationship with federal regulators. As SpaceX's president and chief operating officer, Shotwell isn't just managing day-to-day -day operations, She's fundamentally transforming how private space companies work with government agencies. Her diplomatic mastery has not only secured lucrative NASA contracts, but has now accomplished something extraordinary. Getting Flight 6 approved faster than any previous Starship launch. The aerospace industry took notice when the FAA, typically known for its cautious approach, suddenly shifted gears. While many speculated about political pressure, the real story lies in Shotwell's masterful behind-the-scenes negotiations. Set for November 18, Flight 6 isn't just another test flight. It's a testament to how one leader's strategic approach can reshape the future of space exploration. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours, where we bring you the latest developments in space technology and innovation. Let's dive right in. In a move that left industry veterans speechless, Gwyn Shotwell has just revolutionized SpaceX's launch approval process. November 18th isn't just another date on the calendar. It marks a fundamental shift in how private space companies interact with federal regulators. For the first time ever, Flight 6 will take flight in the afternoon sun, transforming the Indian Ocean into nature's own flight monitoring system. Behind the scenes, Shotwell orchestrated a series of brilliant strategic moves. During closed-door meetings with FAA officials, she presented a comprehensive safety analysis that changed the game entirely. Sources close to the negotiations revealed that her approach wasn't just about compliance, it was about reimagining the entire regulatory framework. When Gwyn speaks, people listen, noted a senior FAA official who requested anonymity. 
She brings solutions, not just problems. The technical innovations for Flight 6 are equally groundbreaking. SpaceX engineers, emboldened by Shotwell's leadership, have completely redesigned the thermal protection system. The heat shield modifications aren't just improvements, they're a complete paradigm shift. By removing entire sections of traditional tiles and introducing next-generation materials, they've created what one engineer described as the most advanced thermal protection system ever attempted. But here's what really sets Flight 6 apart. SpaceX isn't just testing a rocket, they're testing a complete vision of the future. The afternoon launch window serves multiple purposes. Yes, it allows for better visual tracking over the Indian Ocean, but it also demonstrates SpaceX's ability to launch at any time of day, a crucial capability for commercial operations. The single Raptor engine in space burn test, originally canceled in Flight 3, is back on the manifest, showcasing Shotwell's determination to push boundaries while maintaining safety. The numbers tell a story of unprecedented acceleration. After Flight 1's explosion, the FAA demanded 63 corrective actions. Most companies would have needed years to address them. Under Shotwell's leadership, SpaceX knocked out 57 of them almost immediately. The remaining challenges required something more than just technical solutions. They needed diplomatic finesse. Remember those seven-month gaps between launches? When Shotwell stepped in front of the U.S. House Committee, she didn't just complain about delays, she presented a master plan. We can build a rocket and get prepared for launch faster than we can get the bureaucracy to approve us, she stated, but then immediately followed with detailed proposals for streamlining the process while enhancing safety. The results? A complete transformation of the approval process. The FAA's unprecedented dual approval of flights five and six wasn't just luck. It was the result of Shotwell's meticulous strategy. Even when faced with a $633,000 fine for 